Hey everyone, this is One Bit Dragon, a new music making software that is just amazing. But before we get into why, let's talk about game jams. If you've ever done a game jam, then you have likely used this program, which has a title that is just unnecessarily stupid. I think this software became popular after Brackies pointed it out as a great way to add music to your game jam games. And honestly, it's true. I really love this software. You can make some pretty sweet retro 8-bit music and the design is such that you don't really even need to know anything about music to make something passable for a game jam. I've made some pretty decent music myself with this program and I've even used it in my game jam games. However, I've always wanted something that was this easy to use, but perhaps with other instruments than just the 8-bit stuff. And then One Bit Dragon came along. First of all, this is not a paid promotion. I just really like the software and I wanted to shout it out because I think it can be a helpful tool for any indie developer out there, so I'll have a link to it in the description. It does cost $20, which if you think about it, that is half the cost of Skyrim, and I know you own that game. For sure, in my opinion, it's worth the price. One Bit Dragon is just as easy to use as Busca Seol. It has built in keys, chords, rhythms, and a layout that is super simple and easy to pick up. It is brand new and the developer is actively improving it, so currently there are some ease of life features that are missing, such as hotkeys, custom selection tools, extra tracks, or some components and options that experienced musicians might miss, but I'm sure those features will be added in future updates. But even without them, this program is still really awesome. There's a huge number of instruments that just sound amazing, kind of get that synthesizer feel, and it is so fast and easy you can have some nice tunes and beats within just a few minutes. The song you are listening to now I made from scratch in about an hour. Now I'm going to go off script for just a bit and, and just kind of show you live how to mess around with this program so you can kind of see uh, it's it's good. I'm not going to recommend it unless I actually think it's good. So so here we go. Okay, it's super easy. You got your standard controls up here for like saving and opening files as well as playing, pausing and restarting and then recording. All you really need currently is the mouse. You can if you, if you and space. I guess if you hit space it will play and double tap and it'll restart. But you can just kind of draw stuff on here and if you kind of know your your keys you can do that too. But you know, whatever you want to do and then right clicking gives you this option in each section where you can enter um, and copy, paste, or delete, whatever. So you have four tracks and then some drum tracks down here. We're going to turn these off and actually just tell this section to repeat and we'll see what we can we can make here real quick. So with that, let's do... We'll speed the rhythm up to 165 just because why not so we got your kick And then let's add something for the backgrounds. Just do this one. I don't even know what it is. I just clicked it. So let's do let's do an accompaniment. We're also gonna do it in the key of E. Let's do a house. I don't I don't even know what that's gonna. But let's let's see what this how this feels. And this is kind of where if you if you know a little bit more about music and how it works, then it can be helpful. Um, but also like not necessary because you, you heard how it sounds. It really doesn't sound that bad, but if you know a little bit more about music, then you can make it sound just a little better by adjusting um, little things like, like this. So it's not perfect, but as you can see, really easily you can create some music for 
game jams. It's game. like that took me, what, two minutes and, and I got this going already. So if you plan on doing game jams or just enjoy making some sick beats, I would definitely check out One Bit Dragon. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. 